My iMac died this week. Uh, it was awful, absolutely terrible. The video card in my iMac finally gave out after five years of solid usage. And uh, I was able to actually get it repaired. And we're going to talk about that, getting video cards repaired, not replaced. If you have a good local tech shop that is not the Apple store, they can repair them. Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit. But while it was there, I had some updates done to it. And that is what I'm going to talk about today. So this video is really for anybody out there who's using older iMacs or Macs in general that are still updatable. Okay, that is key. Like this video is not going to do anything. If you have an old machine that can't take the new operating systems, you might as well just stop watching it now and go watch one of my other videos. I got tons of them. Go watch one of those. <laughs> um, but anyway, let's talk about upgrades. Okay, so there's two really, really common things. First one is RAM, and that's inexpensive and something you can do yourself. Uh, and the website that I like to use, and this is a non-sponsored plug for these guys. I've just been using a website called crucial.com. There's a link for it below. Um, but yeah, I use crucial.com. The thing I like about their website is that they have a little scanner that you can download and it will scan your computer and then it will give you an itemized list of the specific things that they have for your computer. So there's no like digging around and wondering, oh, am I buying the right one or not? That is a huge luxury um, from crucial.com. I think that's a really awesome thing and I've been using them for years and their prices are totally competitive. Uh, you know, normal internet pricing, cheap stuff. So anyway, RAM, really easy, lots of instructions online on how to do it yourself. You need a, a small screwdriver and a set of hands that work well. And that's about it, you know, super easy. So bump up your RAM. I'm running 26 gigs um, on my mid 2011 27 inch iMac. This is the 3.4 gigahertz Intel i7 chip. I had to custom order it back in the day, um, but it's been an awesome computer up until this big problem happened. So get RAM if you're just, you know, want to do something simple and inexpensive, more RAM, you will definitely notice the speed difference. Now, while my computer was down there getting repaired, uh, I had them put in a one terabyte solid state drive that I had purchased from Crucial like three or four months ago. And then it just sat on a shelf and finally I got it down there. But you guys, the difference is night and day in speed. It is easily 10 times faster than the old optical drive. Uh, the boot up time is less than 10 seconds easily. It's probably less than seven seconds, I think. Um, but all of the operations, everything is so, so, so much faster. I can't even, it's really exciting for me. I mean, I used to dread opening my mail program because there's, you know, whatever, 20,000 emails in there or something. And it just used to take forever to open. But now I click mail and it's like, bam, open everything. GarageBand runs faster, runs more smoothly. Export times from GarageBand significantly cut down. It's awesome, you guys. Get a solid state hard drive. If you're thinking about it, just do it. It will update your computer. It, like I said, it feels like a brand new computer. Um, Crucial.com is where I bought mine. I might have already said that, but yeah. Get some RAM, and if you have the means and a good local shop, get a solid state drive put in your machine and, you know, then come back here and thank me <laughs> for, for the uh, advice because you're going to love it. So um, that's pretty much it. This is a really basic, qu quick video. Obviously, I didn't have my computer this week, so I couldn't do any shooting or editing of the video I had planned, which is actually going to be this microphone here, which is now going to come out next week. This is my copper phone. I keep plugging for this thing and keep not making the video, but it's going to come out. Um, but anyway, let's talk about the last thing. They didn't actually replace my video card, they fixed it. And this was something I just thought was totally fascinating when they told me how they had come up with a method to do this. So they removed the video card from your computer. These are my local guys here um, in Philadelphia. This is a place called the Mac Sensei. Uh, great store. If you guys watch this, thank you so much. Um, but they take the video card out and then they actually bake it under, I guess, like a heat lamp or something like that, but up to like a thousand degrees. So basically what happens there is then it just liquefies all of the solder joints. Then they pull it out from the heat because it's only in there for like three to four minutes. They pull it out and then they let it cool down. So any of those joints that had, you know, maybe popped over the years of, you know, heating up and cooling down, heating up, cooling down, expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting, solder joints break after time. Um, so that heating it up process 
totally worked and it cost $150 compared to $300 for replacing it. So I just figured I'd give you that little tip. If you have a local guy that repairs your stuff, um, tell him about that process because it's pretty cool. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. So, you know, if you have any questions, please, please, please leave comments below and uh, watch all my other videos. I got like 230, 240 something odd videos. Subscribe to my channel, please, please, please <laughs> subscribe and share and all that stuff. And um, you guys basically have a great weekend. We're going to be talking about this microphone finally. <laughs> next week um because i couldn't do any of my pre-production work but yeah the copper phone coming up next week and uh that's it you guys have a great weekend peace <laughs>